Well, right now, there is a big story surrounding two-time major doubles winner Peng Shuai. The former world number one in doubles accused a former high-ranking Chinese government official of sexual assault in a post from her Weibo account, which is like Twitter in China. Since then, there have been reports of Peng Shuai missing, and many tennis players have posted on social media concerned about her well-being. The WTA issued a statement today saying, quote, the recent events in China concerning a WTA player, Peng Shuai, are of deep concern. As an organization dedicated to women, we remain committed to the principles we were founded on, equality, opportunity, and respect. Peng Shuai and all women deserve to be heard, not censored. Her accusation about the conduct of a former Chinese leader involving a sexual assault must be treated with the utmost seriousness. In all societies, the behavior she alleges that took place needs to be investigated, not condoned or ignored. We commend Peng Shuai for her remarkable courage and strength in coming forward. Women around the world are finding their voices so injustices can be corrected. We expect this issue to be handled properly, meaning the allegations must be investigated fully, fairly, transparently, and without censorship. Our absolute and unwavering priority is the health and safety of our players. We are speaking out so justice can be done. What's your reaction to this, Pam? Oh, it uh, kind of takes your breath away a little bit because it's a concern for a player. Um, whether you're a retired player like me or you're many players who are in the locker room that have shared a locker room, your main concern is for her health and well-being. Not that she's just physically okay, but that she's emotionally, mentally okay. Um, WTA is in a tough situation. They have at least 11 tour events that have been scheduled in China through the years, obviously interrupted to COVID. So they are a tight business partner. And we know from what the NBA went through a couple of years ago, this is a very challenging situation. But I think Steve Simon, he's a man of principle and he wants to take the WTA and what, we, what the WTA stands for, which is equality for women. Women need to be treated well. So we need to find out that Peng Shui is 100% healthy and fine. I think that that's a good point. And first and foremost, you hope the player here is, is doing okay. I mean, this this really has everything, doesn't it, Pam? I mean, it's, it's sports, it's censorship, it's geopolitics, it's Me Too, it's commerce. Steve Simon has effectively served. Now we'll see how China, the Chinese Sports Authority, the Chinese government returns this serve. If it does, if history is our guide here, um, the WTA may not get the response that they are hoping for. And then they'll have a decision to make. And if this is just about maximizing revenue if this is just about sort of mercenary goals then the wta will stay in china if it's not it has an opportunity to leave look we're talking about guadalajara we'll be watching these matches in a few minutes that event didn't exist eight weeks ago so these events can pop up there are other cities in the world that will happily accommodate the wta it's a great product these are great athletes maybe this is a chance for the wta to say you know what we are about more than money, and that's something that a lot of companies haven't done. Pam, you mentioned the NBA. Uh, that was not a particularly graceful or, I would say, courageous response. I think women's tennis has a really big opportunity here in what is a very, very ugly crisis right now. Peng Shuai, two-time major champion in doubles, also got to the top 15 in singles, made the semifinals at the U.S. Open. Steve Simon spoke to Chris Clary of the New York Times and had these additional quotes. We've received confirmation that she is safe and not under any physical threat. My understanding is that Peng Shuai is in Beijing, but I can't confirm that because I haven't spoken directly with her. If at the end of the day, we don't see the appropriate results from this, we would be prepared to take that step and not operate our business in China if that's what it came to. Strong words, Pam, from Steve yeah. Simon. I mean, that last sentence, uh, it got the, the sentences and the quotes from Steve Simon got more powerful as the day went along. There was a statement earlier today that was nowhere near as strong mm. as those quotes for, that Christopher Clary posted in the New York Times. And I, I do agree with John Wertheim. And listen, women's tennis, whether it's Billie Jean King, the original nine, we're celebrating 51 years, there is a long history of making brave decisions. And mm. this one is right up there and very complicated. We've seen so many players too, Pam, distinguish themselves as activists, as taking up these social justice causes, keeping in, in the spirit of, of yourself and of Billie Jean and Martina and saying, I'm about more than sports. When these players get asked about this, remember, this is a colleague. This isn't sort of abstract human rights abuses or, or something systemic. This is someone they know it's going to be very interesting when players who are these global brands start weighing in. 
Credit to Alize Cornet, who put out a tweet yesterday that kind of got the ball rolling on this. A lot of other players chiming in after that, wanting to know where Peng Shui is and that she is safe. That's certainly what we hope as well.